Welcome to English for Arabs. English for Arabs is English for all. Let's get started with unit number 11, part 2. The words. 8. Exercise number 8. A major. The most important subject that a college or university student is studying. The most important subject that a college or university student is studying. 10. A promotion. A promotion. A raise. A raise. S as Z. A promotion. A raise. 11. The dumbest. The dumbest. Be silent. The dumbest. The most stupid. Determine to. Insist on. Insist on. Verb plus ing. Determine to. Insist on. 12. Consequences. Outcomes. Results. Results. Cancel. Cancelled. Cancelled. Double L. This is British. But in American, cancel. Cancelled. Cancelled. One L. American. British. Double L. 13. Milestone. A milestone. An important event. Milestone. Important event. Ancient. Ancient. Very old. Very old. The yeah, sound between Y and O. Very old. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. H silent. PH as F as fast sound. Pharaoh. King of ancient Egypt. This is a title. King of ancient Egypt. Small bed for baby. Rock. Rock to rock. Move backwards and forwards or from side to side. Rock. Move from side to side. Here this is a verb. Rock. But of course a rock as a noun means a stone. A big stone. American, we make the O as a sound, rock, rock. Move from one side to another. Move from side to side. Sense, sense, ability, ability. Sight, when we say we have five senses. So this is means sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Scatter. Scatter. Scattered. Scattered. Scatter. Through. Through. Th. 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 Through. At. Attendee. 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 A person who attends. Passage, time, plenty of, plenty of, a lot of, more than enough. Multilayered, 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 different layers. Herald, herald, to throw in different directions. Vine, a type of plant which climbs, be silent, climb, which climbs or grows along the ground. Vine, a type of plant which climbs or grows along the ground. Demonstrate, to show. Spectacular, spectacular, very exciting to look at. Very exciting to look at. T as soft D, very exciting to look at. Now, let's get started. Page 75, Exercise 7, Perspectives. I should have... Part A. Listen to Maya Misery talk about her regrets. Do you have any similar regrets? I should have studied something more practical while I was in college. 
I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. If I'd listened to my mother, I would have learned to play a musical instrument. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have moved into my own apartment by now. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned to speak another language. If I hadn't been so irresponsible, I could have gotten better grades. Exercise number seven. I should have. Listen to Maya talk about her regrets. Do you have any similar regrets? What's a regret? A regret? Something that you're sad about. Example. I should have studied something more practical while I was in college. While I was in university. I should study something practical. Effective. Not theoretical. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. I shouldn't have waited so long time to choose a major. What's a major? A major is a subject that a student is studying in university or college. This is a major. If I'd listened to my mother, if I'd, I'd here means I had. If I had listened to my mother, I would have learned to play a musical instrument. A musical instrument, a musical instrument such as the piano, the violin, the guitar. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have moved into my own apartment by now. If I hadn't wasted so much money, to waste money, to spend money, to spend much money for nothing. I would have moved into my own apartment, my own apartment, my own flat. If I'd been more ambitious in college, if I'd been more ambitious in college, ambitious, you have strong desire to succeed. I could have learned to speak another language. I could have learned to speak another language. If I hadn't been so irresponsible, irresponsible, not responsible, I could have gotten better grades. I could have gotten better grades. Gotten, British, American, gotten, T, a soft D. So if I hadn't been so irresponsible, I could have gotten better grades, better grades, better marks. So these are some regrets for Maya. What do you suggest to help Maya feel better? Do you have any suggestions for Maya? Please tell the class. Exercise number eight, grammar focus. Page 75, exercise 8, Grammar Focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Use should have plus the past participle to express regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Use would have plus the past participle to express probable outcomes in hypothetical situations. Use could have plus the past participle to express possible outcomes. If I'd listened to my mother, I would have learned to play a musical instrument. If I hadn't been so irresponsible, I could have gotten better grades. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Use should have plus the past participle to express regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I should have waited so long to choose a major. To describe here a regret that you're sad about something that happened in the past, you can use subject like I, should, shouldn't, 
have plus past participle pp studied waited to describe hypothetical situation i can use would have plus the past participle to, to express the outcomes the possible outcomes outcomes results results in hypothetical situations or i can use could have could have could have plus the past participle to express possible outcomes so you can use would could have plus the past participle to express possible outcomes possible results example if I'd listened, if I'd listened, if I had listened, if I'd listened to my mother, I would have learned to play a musical instrument. If I'd listened to my mother, I would have learned to play a musical instrument. If I hadn't been, this is British being American Ben. If I hadn't been so irresponsible, I could have gotten better grades. I could have gotten better grades. British gotten, American gotten. Better T soft D. So here we use the third conditional of F. Subject had plus PP past participle. The second sentence sub subject could would have plus past participle. Now So this grammar is called the past modal, and it's for the hypothetical past, like we said, okay? And a past modal basically consists of a modal verb, okay, of some type. Then we have the auxiliary verb have, and then we have a past participle, okay? So there's three parts to this. A past modal has three parts. It has a modal, then the auxiliary verb have, then the past participle as the principal verb. So what type of modals do we use? Well, let's take a look. We have three that we use normally. For example, should, could, and would for the hypothetical pasts. Should we use mostly for regrets and suggestions. Okay. Could we use for possibilities. And would we use for intentions. Okay, so we use should, could, and would. Should, could, and would, plus an auxiliary have, plus the past participle, and that's the past modal. Now, quickly, let's look at some contractions that we can make with our past modals. Okay, so we use the contraction with our modal verb and on our auxiliary verb. For example, should and have, we can put those together and make the contraction should of again repeat with me should of should of good and we can make the contraction with could and have okay to make the contraction could of again repeat with me could of could of right and again we can make a contraction with would and have and it sounds like this would of would have. Good. So those are the contractions that we can make with our modal and our auxiliary verb. So let's take a look at and some a few examples. Okay. Uh, let's set a situation up. For example, <clears throat> there was a party last weekend. There was a party last weekend. Okay. So let's look at some ideas that we use with past modals. For example, I didn't go to the party last weekend. And my regret, okay, I'm going to use should. So I say I should have gone to the party. Again, I'm using my modal verb should, my auxiliary verb with have in the contraction here, and the past participle gone. I should have gone to the party. That means I didn't go, but my regret is I should have gone. Or maybe I did go to the party. I did go to the party, but it was a bad idea for some reason, so I can use a negative. For example, I shouldn't have gone to the party. Again, this is the negative with the modal shouldn't. 
have for the pa uh, the auxiliary verb and gone for the past participle, right? So should for the regrets, let's take a look with possibility. Remember possibility, I use things like could or maybe in the negative couldn't. So maybe it was not possible for me to go to the party. So another way to say this is saying a past modal, I could have gone to the party. Or it, for example, I have my modal verb could, my auxiliary verb have, and the past participle still, right? Or it wasn't possible for me to go to the party. I couldn't have gone to the party, right? So the negative with couldn't, auxiliary verb, and the past participle, right? So possibility, could and couldn't. Now let's take a look at our last ones, okay? For example, with an intention, okay? So it's a hypothetical idea. I would have gone to the party if something else happened. Or I wouldn't have gone to the party if something else had happened. So these, right, are about intentions when I use would. Okay? But the main idea that you need to understand about the past modal is that you always are using some type of a modal verb. You always are going to use the auxiliary verb have and you're always going to use some type of a past participle. right? So we always have three parts to this modal, past participle, or sorry, the auxiliary verb, and number three, the past participle. Okay. So now you finished the first half of the grammar explanation. We're going to continue with unit 11 and we're going to talk about our third conditional. Okay? Now the third conditional is a hypothetical past. It's when we imagine the past in a different way. <clears throat> so let's take a look at what we're talking about. Alright, so remember we said the third conditional is imagining the past in a different way. So we start with a hypothetical condition. We always use if to set a condition and when we're thinking about the past in a hypothetical way, we used the past perfect. So remember the past perfect is had for the auxiliary verb and the past participle for our principal verb. And that's the hypothetical condition. Then in our hypothetical result, we need to use a past modal. And if we remember a past modal is always some type of a modal verb, have for the auxiliary and for the past participle for the principal verb. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's read this. It says, if I had studied for the test, hypothetical condition, I would have passed. Hypothetical result. Right? Or let's take a look at the negative sentence. If I hadn't played video games, I could have studied more. Okay? So remember, our condition, hypothetically, we always use the past perfect. For example, if I had studied for the test, that's the past perfect. Or if I hadn't played, that's the past perfect, right, for our hypothetical condition. And the hypothetical result is the past modal. I would have passed, past modal. Or I could have studied, that's also a past modal, okay? So let's take a look at what we can do with this grammar, okay? Notice that when I use my hypothetical condition first, right, if I had studied for the test, I use that comma to separate that from my hypothetical result. I would have passed, right? But I can switch the order of these and I can use my hypothetical result first and then talk about the condition second, okay? But if I do this, okay, I no longer need these commas. I'm gonna take those commas away so if my hypothetical result is first, I don't need to use the comma. So here I can read it like this. I would have passed if I had studied for the test. Or I could have studied more if I hadn't played video games. So again, the order of the third conditional is not necessarily important, but maintaining the grammar for each of the hypothetical result and the hypothetical condition is. That's very important. A. For each statement, write a sentence expressing regret. Then talk with a partner about which statements are true for you. So here we have five sentences and 
we try okay, to answer them by using F or should F plus PP. So this is the third condition of F or you can use should F plus PP. Example, I was very rebellious. I was very rebellious when I was younger. So you regret that. You're sad about that. So you say number one, I should have been less rebellious when I was younger. Another answer, I should have been obedient. I should have been obedient when I was younger to obey the orders of your mom and dad. Two, I didn't pay attention to what I ate as a kid. So here, you regret that. I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. Three, I didn't make many friends in high school. I didn't make many friends in high school. I should have. I should have made. I should have made many friends in high school. I was very argumentative as a teenager. Argumentative. T can be soft T. Argumentative. He would like to debate. I should have been less argumentative as a teenager. I shouldn't have been argumentative as a teenager. I was too naive when I started looking for my first job. I was too naive when I started looking for my first job. I shouldn't have been I shouldn't have been too naive when I started looking for my first job. B. Match the clothes in column A with the information in column B. So here you match A with B. We have five sentences and the second part is B. So to answer this exercise, you should start to answer by yourself first. Then listen and check your answers. 1. If I'd listened to my parents, I would have made more pragmatic decisions. Pragmatic practical decisions. If I'd listened to my parents, I would have made more pragmatic decisions. So number one, C. Number two, if I'd been more active, if I'd been more active, I wouldn't have gained all the sweat. I wouldn't have gained all the sweat. So number two, D. Three, if I'd been more ambitious, if I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. I could have gotten a promotion. A promotion, a raise. If I studied harder in school, if I studied harder in school, I could have learned a lot. I could have learned a lot more. So number four, B. Five. If I saved in, if I if I saved my money, if I saved my money, I wouldn't have had to borrow so much. I wouldn't have had to borrow so much. So again, the answers. Number one, C. Number two, D. Three, E. Four, B. Five, A. C. Add your own information to the close, to the closes in column A, then com comparing groups. So here, you make the sentence, you read the first part, and you answer by yourself. Example. If I'd listened to my parents, see, I would have made more pragmatic decisions. If I would, if I'd listened to my parents, I could have been, I could have been happier. If I'd listened to my parents, I would have lived a wonderful life. If I'd been more active, if I'd been more active, I would have been the manager of my bank. I would have been 
I would have been the manager of the company. So here you use your own answers. 76. Exercise 10. Pronunciation. Reduction of have and been. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. Page 76. Practice. Notice how have and been are reduced in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. Used in these sentences. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. So in this exercise, we have the reduction of have and been. American, been, British, been. Reduction, shortage. So for example, I have, I've been, an American, been. I should have been less selfish when I was younger. If I'd been, if I'd been, I had, I'd. If I'd been more ambitious, I could have gotten a promotion. I could have, I could have, I could have gotten a promotion. Here, number B, per work, complete the sentences and practice them. Pay attention to the reduced form of have and been. So, there are different abbreviations, and you can find this in phonetics in the course of the American accent. Here, try to use the sentences and use have, if, and been, been. I should have been. I should have been. I should have been more ambitious when I was younger. I should have been. I should have been punctual in high school. If I'd been more, I could have. If I'd been more active, I could have had a lot of money. I could have had a lot of money. If I'd been less, I would have. If I had been less careless, I would have been rich. If I had been less careless, I would have been successful. If I had been less careless, I would have been successful. I would have been successful. Exercise number 11, listening regrets. So in this exercise, you're going to listen to three people. You write in the first part, what is the regret and why does he or she regret it? Page 76, exercise 11, listening. Regrets. Part A. Listen to people describe their regrets. What does each person regret? 1. Alex. I should never have stopped exercising. It's the dumbest thing I've ever done. I've been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half, and it's really difficult. I guess I was just like everyone else at my age. I thought I would be thin forever, and I ate junk food all the time. It was okay then, because I was playing tennis, hockey, and soccer. Then after college, I got busy and quit playing sports. But now I'm determined to join a gym because I know I can't get healthy by just dieting. Besides, I love potato chips. Number one, Alex. What does he regret? Alex stopped exercising. Stopped exercising. Why does he regret it? 
He has been trying to lose his weight. He has been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half. He has been trying to lose weight for the last year and a half. Two, Ian. If I'd had a choice, I would have learned to play the guitar when I was a kid. My parents made me study the piano, and I only studied classical music. I love the piano, but it's not very practical. I mean, you can't take a piano with you to a party. But I love it at a party when someone brings a guitar, and they can play songs and everyone sings along. I wish I could do that. Two. What does she regret? She regrets she didn't learn to play the guitar. She didn't learn to play the guitar when she was a kid. Number two. She didn't learn to play the guitar when she was a kid. Why does she regret it? She wishes she could bring a guitar to a party and play songs and have everyone sing a song. 3. Jacob I regret something I didn't do. I regret not going to Europe with my friends when I had the chance. It was the summer after we all graduated from college. I started to look for a job right away, but my friends went backpacking in Europe for a few weeks. I should have gone because I didn't get a job right away anyway, and my friends had an unforgettable time together. I regret it because they all had this amazing experience without me, and looking back, I could have and should have gone. He regrets not traveling to Europe. He regretted because he didn't get this wonderful experience and he couldn't get a job. Exercise number 12. Look at the picture. What do you see? A young man is cooking. He's a chef. And you see here that there is a lot of smoke. So maybe the food is burning. He makes cookies. Exercise 12. Writing a letter of apology. Think about something you regret doing that you want to apologize for. Consider the questions below. Then write a letter of apology. What did he do? What were the consequences? Is there any way you can undo those consequences? Dear Jonathan, I'm really sorry. American sorry. I'm really sorry, I forgot to tell you that. I forgot to tell you that my party was cancelled. You worked so hard making all those cookies, so these are cookies. I should have called or sent you a text before you started baking them. But I got really busy at work and didn't get around to it. If I'd been more conscientious, I'd, I'd have plus PP. So this is, of course, an example of a letter of apology to apologize about something, about a mistake. So this is going to be homework. You're going to write a letter of apology, dear, and the name of your friend, and you start to apologize and try to solve the problem or solve the mistake that you did it. Be peer work, read your partisan's letter, talk about what you would have done if you had a similar regret. 
talk about what you would have done if you'd had a similar mistake. This is going to be homework. Try to do it by yourself. Milestones around the world. Milestones important events. Scan the article. Where does each milestone take place? Where does each milestone occur? Occur? Happen? Who is each milestone for? So here we can look at the pictures. We have three pictures, three events, three important events in different countries. The first one, look at the picture here. We see a lot of people and there is a baby or two babies the people are very happy they put the babies into a small bed for babies this is in Egypt it's called Sbua Sbua this is an Arabic word this is a celebration on the seventh day of the birth of the baby Egypt. In Egypt, many families with new babies celebrate a subua. El subua, which means the seventh. Some say the ancient pharaohs believed that children who lived to be seven days old were ready for a long and healthy life. So the ancient Egyptians, the pharaohs, thought that Children who lived to be seven days old were ready for long and healthy life. Family and friends meet at the parents' house and the baby is put in a round wooden cold or ball. Or ball, this word is Arabic word. So it means a very, very small bed for the baby is made of wood songs are sung and the baby is rocked gently to awaken its sense we try to shake the baby in a gentle way to awaken its senses to awaken the senses such as hearing smelling touching Seeing salt is scared to keep evil away. We throw the salt. Egyptians throw salt to keep evil away. And the mother carries the baby around the house. Children follow with light candles. The children go around the baby with light candles. Finally, bags full of candies, sweets, and gold and silver like cones, like coins, are distributed to all attendees. So all the people who attend this wonderful celebration will give him ceramic box of sweets, candies, gold and silver like coins. Sometimes we'll put some cars with the name of the baby. The second country, look at the picture here. You see what? A young lady, and this is a cake. We call this cake multi-layered cake. This is a multi-layered cake. You have different layers, like two, three, four layers and she's cutting the cakes. So this is Mexico. Families in Mexico and several other Latin American countries have a special celebration for La Juan Sinara. This is of course a name and this name is in Mexican language. So 
I don't know how to read it. The birthday, but it means the birthday girl who turns 15 years old. It marks a girl's passage. A passage here means time. This is a mark for the girl's time from girlhood to womanhood. So when the girl is 15 years old, that means she she now she finished her childhood and girlhood to be a woman wearing a spectacular dress a wonderful amazing dress and carrying and carrying a bouquet of flowers means some flowers the girl arrived at the church for Thanksgiving service. Then there is a party with live music. Live, this verb, I live, like I live in Cairo, I live in Egypt. But here it's an adjective. So we pronounce it live, which means happening now. So then there is a party with live music, dancing, and plenty of delicious food. Plenty. British. Plenty of means a lot of, more than enough, a lot of delicious food. An important moment is when the girl cuts a multi-layered birthday cake. This is a wonderful moment. It's when the girl cuts a multi-layered birthday cake, a cake which has different layers. So that was a celebration in Mexico. Look at the picture here, what do you see? This is a young man, and the young man is what? Throwing himself, he jumps. He jumps from a high place, this is like a bridge, and he tied himself with vines on, on a single island, on a single island in the South Pacific nation of Venetu. So this is a place it's an island in the South Pacific. Young men, like this one, young men herald themselves. Herald. The young men herald, throw themselves from a 30 meter wooden tower with only vines tied around their ankles to break their fall. So they throw themselves from the height of 30 meter from a wooden tower and they tie their ankles this is part of their feet part of their feet they tied it with vines the original bungee jumpers these land divers jump to prove their manhood so they do this to say that we are men the goal is for the young man's shoulder to just touch the ground. So the shoulder must touch the ground. The vines, the vines measurement must be exact as there is no severity. So they must touch the ground and there is no safety. They don't they don't put a net that if someone fell down the net will protect him no it's not like the circus if somebody fell down he could die when a young man when a young man jumps his mother holds a favorite childhood item one of his childhood things after the jump she throws the item away she throws the item demonstrating, showing that he is now a man. So after he jumps, he becomes a man. Let's get the exercises, please. Here, you're going to read the article. You find the words in italics in the article. Then match each word with its meaning. So this is going to be homework. You will find these words in the beginning of this video in the vocab then 
the chip to the correct milestone for each description. We choose here the description related to Subur in Egypt or La Cuancinera, this is in Mexico, or like land diving on the island of the Pacific Ocean. See, which of the milestones do you think is the most serious? Which is the most fun? Why do you think people celebrate milestones like these? So, this is going to be a group discussion between you and your friends. Wish you all good luck. That's the end of unit number 11, part 2. And now, let's get the homework. Number 1. Keep the words by heart. Listen and repeat. Number 2. Answer 3 pages of unit number 11, part 2, workbook. Number 3. Go to www.cambridge.org slash interchangercade slash. You will have a lot of questions, grammar questions and vocabulary questions. Four, watch the video of Interchange 3, Unit 11. You'll have a wonderful video of Cambridge University. Five, Watch the amazing video of Mr. Kyle Ralphson about the grammar. Hope you like it, share it, and subscribe. Wish you all good luck. Milestone important event. Ancient. Ancient, very old. Very old. Yeah, sound between Y and O. Very old. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. H silent, PH as F as fa sound. Pharaoh. King of ancient Egypt. This is a title. King of ancient Egypt. Small bed for baby. Rock. Rock to rock. Move backwards and forwards or from side to side. Rock. Move from side to side. Here this is the verb. Rock. But of course a rock as a noun means a stone. A big stone. American we make the O as a sound. Rock. Rock move from one side to another move from side to side sense sense ability ability sight when we say we have five senses so this is means sight hearing taste touch and smell scatter scatter scattered scattered scatter through through th 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 through at attendee 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 a person who attends passage time plenty of plenty of a lot of more than enough multi-layered 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 different layers herald herald to throw in different directions vine a type of plant which climbs be silent, climb, which climbs or grows along the ground. Vine, a type of plant which climbs or grows along the ground. Demonstrate, to show. Spectacular, spectacular, very exciting to look at. Very exciting to look at. 
TS of D very exciting to look at now let's get started page 75 exercise 7 perspectives I should have part A listen to Maya misery talk about her regrets do you have any similar regrets I should have studied something more practical while I was in college I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major if I'd listened to my mother I would have learned to play a musical instrument if I hadn't wasted so much money last year I would have moved into my own apartment by spend much money for nothing I would have moved into my own apartment my own apartment my own flat if I'd been more ambitious in college if I'd been more ambitious in college ambitious you have strong desire to succeed I could have learned to speak another language I could have learned to speak another language if I hadn't been so irresponsible irresponsible not responsible I could have gotten better grades I could have gotten better grades gotten British American gotten T a soft D so if I hadn't been so irresponsible I could have gotten better grades better grades better marks so these are some regrets for Maya what do you suggest to help Maya feel better do you have any suggestion for Maya please tell the class exercise number eight grammar focus page 75 exercise 8 grammar focus expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations use should have plus the past participle to express regret welcome to English for Arabs English for Arabs is English for all. Let's get started with unit number 11, part 2. The words. 8. Exercise number 8. A major. The most important subject that a college or university student is studying. The most important subject that a college or university student is studying. 10. A promotion. A promotion. A raise. A raise. S A Z. A promotion. A raise. Eleven. The dumbest. The dumbest. Be silent. The dumbest. The most stupid. Determine to. Insist on. Insist on. Verb plus ing. Determine to. Insist on. 12. Consequences. Outcomes. Results. Results. Cancel. Cancelled. Cancelled. Double L. This is British. But in American, cancel. Cancelled. Cancelled. One L. American. British. Double L. 13. Milestone. A milestone, an important event. Now, if I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned to speak another language. If I hadn't been so irresponsible, I could have gotten better grades. Exercise number seven. I should have. Listen to Maya talk about her regrets. Do you have any similar regrets? What's a regret? A regret? Something that you're sad about. Example. I should have studied something more practical while I was in college. 
while I was in university. I should study something practical, effective, not theoretical. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. I shouldn't have waited so long time to choose a major. What's a major? A major is a subject that a student is studying in university or college. This is a major. If I'd listen to my mother, if I'd, I'd here means I had. If I had listened to my mother, I would have learned to play a musical instrument. A musical instrument, a musical instrument such as the piano, the violin, the guitar. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have moved into my own apartment by now. If I hadn't wasted so much money, to waste money, to spend money, 